A pioneering developer at the time was Irvin J. Kahn, whose vision was to create an affordable track development with quality, architectural housing instead of the cheap soulless housing developments of the time in places like Claremont and Ocean Park. Kahn commissioned architect William Crystal to design the University City Tract in 1960. Crystal, not wanting a cookie-cutter collection of mid-century modern styling, commissioned award-winning architect Henry Hester to blend throughout the development his Asian-inspired Pacific-style modern tract ranch homes with signature upturned ends to their roof ridge lines. Our original Hester treasure offered at 2559 Whitty Avenue, is marked in this scene by a red X. On a huge corner lot in University City's quietest neighborhood we find our Henry Hester treasure. 2559 Quiddy Avenue. An original 1962 Pacific-style modern tract ranch home with unlimited potential in a neighborhood you cannot overbuild in. One owner with few changes and none structurally. This is a architecturally historical blank palette for a discerning buyer looking for location, location, location. These University City homes are highly desired and especially when in a quiet setting within the three original tracks. Quiddy Avenue, named after the 1927 winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, is a dead-end street with little traffic and Quiddy Court on the right is a quiet cul-de-sac. The neighborhood exudes pride of ownership. As you step inside the formal entry foyer, to the left is the family room, breakfast bar casual dining, and kitchen beyond. One of the few modifications is the removal of the popcorn ceilings. This tenant has elected to use this as their dining room. A classic simple function is the signature design element of these mid-century dream homes. Cross ventilation, wider passageways, a circular traffic flow and the same simplicity shows in the development. Large lots, homes well set back from the street, wider streets, easy access to community parks and schools. Unlike other development in San Diego to that time, this was one of the very first planned communities. Simple function was the goal. Easy access through the kitchen slash garage door for ease of bringing in the groceries. Beautiful oak cabinetry that belies its 60 years of use. Ample storage and wide countertops for food prep and convenience. This is a 1962 dream kitchen. A single decade prior the dream would have been Youngstown white steel cabinetry. At the far end of the kitchen we find the casual breakfast nook and swinging door access to the formal dining space with enclosed sunroom beyond. This doored access provides easy access for serving, yet visibly blocks the view of the kitchen while dining. This access provides the circular traffic flow so essential to these designs. Standing in the dining room space of the great room we see the enclosed sunroom with access to the pool, and the cozy masonry fireplace in the corner of the living room. Just off of the living room we find this cozy enclosed sunroom that provides wide glass door access to poolside. Again we are looking from the dining space through the living room and to the right in the far corner is the wide entry from the formal entry foyer and doored access to the hall, bedrooms, and baths. At the end of the long hall on the rear quiet side of the home we find the spacious master suite. This is the first generation of homes with what were referred to as master suites. The homes featured large bedrooms and in the master. The bath is not just attached as you will see. At the end of the master bedroom is this large dressing area with a second full closet on the left and doored access to the master bath on the right. This was the opulent feature in 1962. This particular home is situated on a large corner lot and this space can easily be open to the pool area in the rear. 
a 1962 dream come true. A wide double vanity. Across from an oversized tiled shower. With an exterior door to the rear yard and the pool. The current tenant is on a month-to-month -month lease. But if you are looking for a rental investment, the tenant would love to remain. This fun space is the large bedroom across the hall from the master suite. Again we find large windows, excellent cross ventilation, large double closet. But sorry, Spanky the posing cat does not stay. This smallest of the four bedrooms is between the master suite and living room to give the master more privacy and sound insulation from the entertaining space. This is actually a large bedroom, but is very full of large furniture. This large guest bathroom is across the hall from the smallest bedroom and is the first door on the right as you leave the living room, so it is a convenient powder room for entertaining as well. It has a large tub and tiled shower combination. Four spacious bedrooms with large closets and two full baths. The 1962 Ultimate Dream Home. And in 2020 it is the ultimate location and combination of attributes to be one of San Diego's ultimate opportunities. Just through the door in the kitchen is this large two-car attached garage. Convenient and safe with easy secure access for groceries. These vintage garages have much more space than the new tracked homes today. There is plenty of room here for a man cave or shop area. At the rear of the garage is doored access to the side and rear yard. Here from the side yard we see the signature raised end of the ridge line that defines the look of the Pacific-style modern tracked ranch homes. At the end of the paved area is a walk door to the garage and a large aluminum storage shed that does stay. The entire rear and side yard are fenced pet and child secure. You knew you had arrived in 1962 if this was your backyard. While operational, the pool surface has reached the end of its life expectancy. All single-story neighbors ensure your privacy when this is restored to your Shangri-La. One of the coolest things about the planning of University City was the placement of three large community parks around the development. Seen here is Marcy Park just around the corner two short blocks away. Stretching your and the pet's legs will be done in glorious beauty. The San Diego Unified School District is blessed with excellent schools. Here is pictured award-winning Curie Elementary School. One of the main reasons that University City is so desirable, and has the property values that it does, is award-winning schools like this. Built in 1981, University City High School, home of the Centurions, is a community treasure. In 2019 UCHS ranked better than 92.1% of the high schools in California. Another reason why University City is so safe of a real estate investment.